Hey, movie buffs. Today, let's explore the 1944 classic, Laura. No need for fancy talk, we're keeping it simple. Starring a bunch of Hollywood legends, this murder mystery will keep you hooked. But here's the thing, there's more going on than you might think. As we uncover the story, get ready for a whirlwind of emotions with funny, shocking, and sad facts. You won't want to miss any of it. Now, as you get comfy, think about which classic Hollywood actor stood out for you in the movie. Drop your thoughts below, we're curious. And hey, have you ever had a moment where this movie stuck with you? Share your stories, we'd love to hear them. So, what's your favorite memory or personal experience with Laura? Share it with us, and let's keep chatting. Your stories bring the movie to life. And there you have it, a glimpse into the world of Laura. Get ready for a journey packed with surprises. Stay tuned for more fun facts and remember to share your thoughts. Your memories matter. In the 1944 film Laura, a New York City advertising executive found dead in her apartment leads to police investigation of friends and fiancé. Detective McPherson becomes intrigued by her through a living room portrait. Praised as a glossy whodunit adaptation of Vera Caspri's novel, the film deviates from classic film noir. Jean Tierney's portrayal of the main character lacks conviction, while Dana Andrews excels as the investigating detective. The film challenges film noir norms by presenting Laura as a genuine heroine, unlike the usual treacherous female characters. McPherson and Waldo Lidecker, played by Clifton Webb, engage in witty banter, adding depth to the narrative. Dana Andrews impresses with his performance, torn between cynicism and romanticism, showcasing his acting versatility. In general, Laura is one of Otto Preminger's best works, despite being his directorial debut. Vincent Price's role adds amusement, and the movie's memorable moments, like McPherson contemplating the portrait, set it apart from typical noir. Ultimately, Laura subverts the genre in a delightful and romantic manner, becoming a classic of its time. The movie Laura was released in 1944. John Brahm was initially asked to direct, but declined. Otto Preminger, aged 38, took over the direction after seeing Clifton Webb perform in Blythe Spirit and insisted on casting him as Waldo Lidecker, alongside Jean Tierney as Laura and Dana Andrews as Mark McPherson. Despite opposition from Daryl F. Zanuck, Preminger's choices prevailed. Laird Krager, initially considered for the role of Waldo Lidecker, was replaced due to concerns about his recognition as a villain and Clifton Webb, aged 54, received an Oscar nomination for his performance. Vincent Price and Judith Anderson were also part of the cast. The film received critical acclaim and remains a classic in cinema history. Daryl F. Zanuck initially had different casting preferences, but Preminger's choices proved successful in the end. Otto Preminger's decision to cast Clifton Webb against Zanuck's wishes was ultimately vindicated by Webb's acclaimed performance. Otto Preminger's direction and casting choices were crucial to the film's success and enduring legacy. In the web of decisions that shaped the classic movie Laura, the initial plan to have multiple narrators, including Waldo, Mark, and Laura herself, changed. Eventually, Waldo's narrative prevailed, offering a unique viewpoint to the audience. The casting process faced challenges, with Clifton Webb stepping into the role of Waldo after Laird Kreger passed away in December 1944. Director Otto Preminger played a crucial role in casting, defying the preferences of Daryl F. Zanuck. Preminger chose Jean Tierney for Laura, Clifton Webb for Waldo, and Dana Andrews for Mark, demonstrating his unwavering belief in his vision. Clifton Webb's portrayal of Waldo showcased his acting ability and was influenced by his earlier role in Blythe Spirit. This added depth to the character, enriching the movie's narrative. In the end, Laura is a result of the collaborative efforts of its cast and crew. Each contributed to create a movie that continues to captivate audiences. The movie's enduring appeal lies in its characters and unexpected twists. Laura, a classic film from 1944, encountered various challenges during its production. Clifton Webb, despite his absence from the screen, initially faced resistance for the role of Waldo Lidecker, with Daryl F. Zanuck preferring Laird Kreger. Preminger had to use footage of Webb's stage performance to convince Zanuck of his suitability. Producer Otto Preminger and original director Robin Mamoulian clashed over creative decisions, with Mamoulian making changes without consulting Preminger. Mamoulian's discomfort with Preminger's presence on set led to an agreement for Preminger to stay away during filming, allowing Mamoulian to proceed without interference. Meanwhile, Zanuck's absence from the set gave Mamoulian more freedom. 
Jane Nye made her uncredited theatrical debut as a secretary in the film, marking a significant milestone in her career. Laura faced internal conflicts and obstacles during its production, but ultimately emerged as a timeless classic of the film noir genre. In Laura, a film from 1944, 20th Century Fox enlisted songwriter Johnny Mercer to pen lyrics for Laura's theme, a move that proved a hit with audiences and musicians alike. The track became a standard, covered by Frank Sinatra and Ella Fitzgerald, among others. Notably, Jane Nye made her debut in the film. The production wasn't without its challenges, as the cast, including Gene Tierney, faced lengthy delays to satisfy the meticulous vision of producer and director Otto Preminger. Cinematographer Joseph Lachelle's dedication to perfection meant extended waits for scene lighting, much to Tierney's frustration. Despite the setbacks, Laura stands as a classic film noir, appreciated for its enduring music and memorable performances. The director, Otto Priminger, faced some initial problems with the cast, except for Clifton Webb, who wrongly told them Preminger didn't like their acting. Dame Judith Anderson, however, dealt with it differently by talking to him directly and offering to do better if needed. Despite some tension, the actors were determined to give their best. Daryl F. Zanuck, a big name in Hollywood, initially preferred John Hodiak for the detective's role. But as decisions were made and the movie progressed, things changed and new challenges came up. The movie had a big effect and even inspired Bollywood's Rod, showing how it influenced cinema worldwide. Its themes and character relationships struck a chord with audiences from different cultures, making it a part of film history. This peek into the struggles and successes behind the scenes reminds us of how complicated it is to make a great movie. Every decision and interaction added up to the final result that entertained audiences for years to come. And in the end, Laura remains a timeless favorite for movie lovers everywhere. Vincent Price was set to perform You'll Never Know at a party scene in the movie, but the song didn't make it into the final cut. In addition to appearing in Laura, she starred alongside Dana Andrews in four other films Tobacco Road, Bell Star, The Iron Curtain, and Where the Sidewalk Ends. There was a TV remake in the 50s with Robert Stack, Dana Winter, and George Sanders. However, Fox Channel found the result so poor that it was never released. In the 1944 film, there's a subtle yet interesting detail involving a scene with the main character in a bathtub. This scene inspired a similar moment in the 1966 film Georgie Girl. In that movie, the character played by Charlotte Rampling, who's a violinist, pays tribute to the bathtub scene from Laura. Another interesting thing is how they made the portrait of the main character. Instead of a traditional painting, they used a large photo covered in paint. It gives the character's image a unique look. There's also a coincidence with the birthdays of the lead actors, Gene Tierney and Clifton Webb. They were born on the same day. This adds an extra tidbit to the making of the film, showing an unexpected connection between the two main actors. These little details add depth to the movie's legacy, showing how different films can be connected. Laura has had a lasting influence on other movies, offering audiences a deeper look into its story and characters. 